ripoti na tungi poti. Umradi mheshimiwa unatekelezwa na kampuni ya Kituruki ambayo inaitwa AVM Dillingham, Dillingham International uh, Incorporation. Na unasimamiwa na kitengo maalum cha kiandishi ndani ya Tandrod ambacho kinaitwa Tandrod Engineering Consulting Unit na unafadhiliwa na serikali ya Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania kwa asilimia moja Gharama ya mradi ni bilioni 38.36 kwa maana ya kilomita zote jumla ya kilomita 62 kutoka Ibanda mpaka Kajimeme kilomita 22 lakini kutoka Jimeme kwenda Kiwira port kilomita 6 lakini kutoka Jimeme kwenda Itungi port kilomita 4 ambayo jumla ya kilomita 62 Mheshimiwa uh, Waziri wa Ujenzi mradi ulisainiwa rasmi mwa, uh, mwaka jana tarehe 27 Disemba na mkandarasi alipewa uh, tarehe ya kwanza kazi tarehe 30 mwezi Machi mwaka huu baada ya kukamilisha zile nyaraka za kimkataba. Lakini paka tunavyosema sasa mkandarasi hajaweza kuzalisha <coughs> kazi yoyote mahususi kwa maana kazi ya ujenzi wa barabara. Na muda uliopita mpaka leo ni miezi takriban sita tangia pewe ile tarehe maalum ya kwanza kazi ambayo ni kama shina tano ya muda wa miezi 24 ambao alipewa kimkataba. Uh, serikali imechukua juhudi za I mean Tandro limechukua juhudi za makusudi za kum, kumpushi mkandarasi aweze kuleta mitambo site lakini aweze kukamilisha kazi kwa wakati juhudi mbaya zimeshachukuliwa na mpaka sasa ninaposema asilimia tano tu ya mitambo imeshaletwa na kazi kama ulivyoona mitambo iliyoletwa haitoshi kufanya kazi za ujenzi hizo kusudiwa kwa tuko nyuma asilimia tano ya muda na mpaka sasa kazi maalum hazijaanza kwa sababu mitambo haijaletwa site. Ninaomba kuwashirisha kwa kumheshimu sana. Ah waziri eh <coughs> tulimpokea mkandarasi na alianza kazi lakini tunaamini kwamba tando ndio amfanya vikao vingi. <coughs> tando ndio amfanya kazi kubwa kufuatilia mradi huu pamoja na wizara kwa ujumla. Lakini naamini eh, sisi eh, tumewahi kufika hapa mbona mkatarasi kwa namna ambavyo anaelewa na ujenzi lakini tukuta na changamoto changamoto nyingi zingine tumestruggle sana kumsaidia eh ikukawa na shida shida kidogo za watu wake lakini ameshabadilisha timu na huyu aliyemleta ni mpya nadhani ana siku kama kama siku kumi siku saba hivi amemleta hivi karibuni project manager mpya lakini nachoomba mheshimiwa waziri wananchi wa Kera wanahitaji barabara ikamilike ili waweze kufanya shughuli zao za kiuchumi tuweze kusafirisha makaa mawe kutoka Kiwira kupeleka bandarini lakini kutoka Mbamba Bay kuleta eh, kiwanda cha Mbea Cement na wananchi waweze kusafiri kwa barabara iliyo nzuri kutoka eneo la Bandari na kwenda kwenye maeneo mbalimbali za mkoa wa Mbea. Mbea. Kwa hiyo mheshimiwa waziri sisi hatuna maneno mengi sana kwa kuwa umefika ndo mwenye dhamana ya wizara hiyo ujenzi eh naomba nikukaribishe uweze kutupa maelekezo yote ya tuko tayari kupokea ili tukasimamie wana Kela waweze kupata barabara hii wana Rungwe wana Mbeya kwa ujumla ili waweze kufurahia serikali ya sita inaongozwa na Dr. Samia Suru Hassan. Karibu sana. Kela oye. Oye. Rais wetu mpendo Samia Suru Hassan. Oye. Oye. Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania. Asante. Mheshimiwa Waziri wa Fedha, Mheshimiwa Mkuu wa Mkoa mheshimiwa viongozi wetu wa chama ukiongozwa na mwenezi wa chama cha mapinduzi mkoa wa Mbeya viongozi wote wa chama na serikali mlioko hapa e, kwanza kabisa nitumie nafasi hii kumshukuru sana mheshimiwa rais wetu dr Samia Suluh Hassan kama mheshimiwa mkuu wa mkoa na kama mheshimiwa mbunge kwa jimbo la Kiela aliposema E, mheshimiwa rais kwa kiu kubwa ya wananchi wa wilaya ya Kiela baada ya kumlilia kuhusu ujenzi wa barabara hii ambayo nimekuja kuikagua hatua za ujenzi wa barabara hii mheshimiwa rais alitoa fedha ili kujenga kilomita 32 kama e, mtala mtoka tando da alipoeleza na ili mkandarasi aanze kazi E, kupitia wizara ya fedha na nimshukuru mheshimiwa waziri wa fedha yuko pamoja nasi mheshimiwa rais alitoa advance ya bilioni 3.7 asilimia kumi ili mkandarasi aanze kazi lakini advance hii sio ya kununua vifaa 
kwa sababu wakati wa manunuzi na tasimini za manunuzi mkandarasi anatakiwa aonyeshe uwezo wa kutengeneza barabara na ndio maana anashindanishwa na yule ambaye ameonyesha kwamba ana vifaa anapewa kazi sasa leo hii baada ya kikao cha mkandarasi tarehe moja Septemba tuseme mwezi mmoja tulimpa mwezi mmoja yani kufikia tarehe moja jana awe amekamilisha kuleta mitambo yote site lakini kuna orodha hapa nimekuja kujilizisha je haya yameshaletwa na tulikubaliana tarehe moja Septemba ulikuwa na watumishi wataalamu wanne kati ya kumi ambao wanatakiwa kwenye mkataba tukakwambia sita wengine kufika jana wao wameshafika site nataka niwaone au watala hapa kumi au watala mkumi ambao tulikubaliana Septemba moja kwamba kufika moja tarehe moja Oktoba wao wako wako site wako wapi Wajipange tuwaone Nasi nataka kazi yendele Natano di mjirizishe hawa hawa na waona hapa Wasiwa kama meazimu wa mahali alafu kesho na ondoka Alafu wanakuwa wengine Hame na adai? Wawili wako wapi? We have more than ten Because now, eh, kwenye makubaliano wale ambao kwa mujibu wa mkataba wanatakiwa kuwa na utala mkumi nataka ni waone kwenye wale kumi ambao mlikubaliana bado wanne bado wanne wako wapi au wanne in the short time they will be here in the short term miezi sita yani huko nyuma ya 25% ya kazi yes i know i know i came here because of this i will increase our speed i have the power i will complete this project in a short term but where have you been in the past i was in kenya you were you were where i was in kenya I complete two projects in that place. Yeah, but it's none of our business. If you have projects outside Tanzania, it's none of our business. We want work yes. to be done according to the contract. I came, I came here because of this. I will complete this project in a short time. I have the power. If you want, I came one week ago. If you want, you can ask the town. I increase, I try to increase everything. I, I increase this subcontractor. Now, today, tonight, our machinery is coming. They are on the way. They are coming and uh, I increase our speed in campsite I will what I promise I will do don't worry okay kwenye mitambo tulipokaa kwenye high level meeting sawa unatakiwa uwe na buldoza tatu zikwaje we have only one buldoza but this is a road down in Dar es Salaam eh lakini unatakiwa uwe tatu na tatu site wewe unazungumzia moja afu unasema mbovu yes they are coming They are coming. Don't worry. I'm, I'm saying, at the end of this week, you will see everything here. You can ask to the... What's going on with the deadline? We're going to go to the end of the week. We're going to go to the end of the week. We're going to go to the end of the week. Yes, because I'm new here. I try to understand what is the situation in this project. You are, yeah, I'm, I, I so you are new. Yeah, I came one week ago. So who signed the contract if you are new? Mr. Mr. So you are supposed to have three bulldozers on yes, site. Give me the date when they will be here. In 10 days, they will be here. You are supposed to have a uh, kikondo the Uh, and excavator. Excavator. Excavator is coming. Excavator is coming. They are on the way. Yes, they are supposed to be Please, here. Tonight they, are, they, are, they will be here. Tonight. You are supposed to have three. There is only one. Yes. I saw it on the road. Yeah, only one. Two is coming. Two is coming. Yes. 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 Yes.
two is coming, it will be three, it will come one by one. Because but, what, but I you are behind just work, want, 25%. I want to explain something. Okay. It's very important. Now, uh, we are talking about our machineries. They are coming from Turkey, but we have the some disasters in Turkey. Our government take our machineries without our permission for protect and keep the people in these cities. They, they now, they now, they are removing. Not here for engineer. Yes. Excavator sita anamoja tano tatua marifezo badai. Grader tano. We are supposed to have five graders. Yes, there is one, only one. One is here, two is coming. You, they, they need to be five. This is this is temporary, but this I am saying temporary for start the job. After one month, our our machinery, our company's machinery will come. Tipa ishirini unambiri tu. Kumi na nane zikuwa. Six six is coming. Another six is coming next week. They are on the way. You see this night they will be here. Nani magari ya maji matano amna tamu. There are two is coming. They are on the way. Lola nne unamoja. Katu. Right, yeah. Two is coming. <laughs> why you are smart? Why you are laughing? I don't understand. I'm thinking of you. And why you are smiling? Why you are laughing? Yeah, this is the reason. Nani konkreti mixa? Matakuo na mbili iko moja. Ingine na kujali. I will arrange everything. Don't worry. I promise you. When you come to next time here, you will see the difference. Okay? You will see the difference. I mean, why are you are laughing? Because we have a disaster in Turkey. Our, our main our headquarters is collapsed. My people is dying. Did you understand? That's a scary thing. I'm scared. I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 Wasajiri wa kandarasi na wasajiri wa wahandisi mshirikiani na tandrodi kuja kujirizisha kimkataba kama huyu anastahili kuendelea na hikazi lakini nafahamu amepewa pia barabara nyingine ya kule sengelema sasa kama kilometa 32 zinakutoa jasho utaweza kujenga zile kilometa 54 kwa hiyo tandrodi CRB pamoja na IRB ndani ya wiki mbili kama hajaweka vifaa hapa site angalieni maeneo ya kimkataba na maamuzi magumu yafanyike lakini sina 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 uhakika sina uhakika na wewe ndo kazi yako ya kwanza hapa umepata kazi mbili umepata hii na umepata ya kilomita 54 kule Sengere kama 32 zinakuwa hivi it's coming it's coming it's coming Sina uhakika kama kilomita 54 utaweza kuzijenga kule Sengelemo. Kwa hiyo ndani ya wiki mbili nataka nipate ripoti vifaa hivi ambavyo nimevisoma ambavyo havijafika site. Njirizishe kwa asilimia ya moja vimefika na muangalie kwenye maeneo ya, ya, ya mkataba. Kama tutalazimika kuchukua hatua ngumu tuzichukue. Kwa sababu wananchi wa wilaya ya Kiela baada ya mheshimiwa rais kutoa hizi advance za bilioni 3.7 mkandarasi hakutakiwa kutumia hii fedha kwenda kununua vifaa Uturuki aitakiwa na vifaa tayari hizi bilioni 3.7 zimsaidie kuandaa site na kumobilize vifaa kutoka huko vilipo kuja site sasa yeye unaona kapata hiyo bilioni 3.7 ndio ameenda kufanya shopping sasa nakupa wiki mbili na wakanda, na download CRB na IRB timizeni wajibu wenu na kama kuna miradi ya aina hii nchini msisubiri mpaka waziri mieni. Chukueni hatua ndani ya muda. Hayo ndio maelekezo yangu.